Hey, and welcome to One Game Dad. I'm Gregory Pelleci. This is... Hi, and welcome to episode 8 of One Game Dad. I'm Gregory Pelleci, and this is the second attempt at this episode, approximately five days after my first attempt, in which I am... Well, I'm always tired. That's just the re the reality. But uh, this time I am playing The Witcher, and I have just just uh, um uh, switch the story over to. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, story mode. Easy. Um, in part because... Well... I... I want to play something for this story. I want to... And as much... Uh, RPGs always put me in an awkward position because they make me want to do everything. They want I, I want to see and experience every aspect of the game. I want I don't want to miss out on any of the story and that that can be really troublesome for me when I am playing RPGs because what it means is I well I don't want to die I don't want to make wrong decisions I don't yeah, I don't want to pick the wrong class. Yeah. See, might pick something. And I've heard good things about The Witcher, and I've played a little, but it just there's been so much. So much going on that I just I don't don't know what to do I I I find myself at a loss on what I can accomplish What or what? What I really, what? It, to some degree, it is a level of FOMO, you know, of I fear of missing out because I'm not going to play through a game again. I'm not going to go through. I'm not going to. The White Wolf. I'm not going to. Go through it all again because I just. How could I? It. It just. Doesn't. It's not worth it for me to play a game. I mean, I have so little time. Go, go. That to the idea of playing a game. Like multiple times is just 
unrealistic. And... I don't want that to always be the case. But, I mean, I think it's always going to be the reality. Because there are so many games coming out. That... I... At the same time, story is something that is very much being sidelined in a lot of games. And I don't like that. I... I want to experience the stories that are possible in games. That's why I love games like Firewatch or Gone Home. That's why I played uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. The There's... Possibilities presented by... You know, th these worlds that people have created that, that I want to see. And that's the thing. I want to see it all. I don't want to miss out. But I don't want to have to backtrack. I don't want to have to play again because I just I can't afford that. I, that's trading off seeing another game. Ah. Sorry, lady. Ah. But... I mean, this is in part why I have now switched to story mode, to, e to the easiest way to play The Witcher, because it's what I want to experience. The, <sighs> the combat is okay, but I'm not in it for that. And the thing is, I keep playing games like Destiny. In part because I <sighs> in part because I can do something in the short time I have. Sorry, I have completely forgotten how to do this game. Combat, strong attack, dodge, movement, cast. Oops. Well, that's great. <sighs> that's not exactly what I wanted. And I don't want to fast travel at the moment. <laughs> and so much for this being easy. But, um... Yeah. Story is something I want to experience. And I don't feel like I'm getting much of it in Destiny 2. And I... I 
Not that I have time to do the break a breakdown video of what's wrong with Destiny 2 story, but there there really isn't much there. Yeah, it, it's more understandable what's going on than the original Destiny. But the reason I keep playing is because they can accomplish things in short bursts, given my limited gaming time. And that's a little harder with something like The Witcher. But I keep reinstalling and uninstalling this game because like, I want to play it, I want to experience the story, but I just can't f commit to it. So now as part of this vlog this podcast uh, that's what i'm doing i'm switching over to it i'm still going to do probably destiny in the weekends but maybe the there uh, in the evenings but the Give up. but the podcast or What is controller scheme? How do I eat and heal? Ah, uh, up. Well, that's great. Sorry. Um, yeah, learning the combat again. It, this is probably going to be the game I play for a while on the on this show in part because it's a longer period in which I can aim to do something it's also a little more visually interesting than just watching me shoot stuff on destiny but in the evenings when I have 15 minutes I can get on destiny and I can do something <sighs> and that's the thing like the good parts of destiny or what are supposed to be the good parts of Destiny and Destiny 2 are locked off from me, and those are the raids, even the nightfalls to some degree, because of the amount of time you have to put into them. And I don't like that. And I know it's part of that game, but I, I'm torn, because the developers have created something unique and they want it to be experienced a certain way and that doesn't take into account the entirety of the audience i mean they've done things like the guided games in an effort to bring that to more people but And
Ugh. God, I'm really not very good at the combat in this game. It is hard, even on the easiest mode. Um, um yeah, uh, with Destiny, the fact that things are essentially blocked off for me and I've paid for the game is annoying. Whereas with The Witcher, I can get to it. I can get to everything. It takes time, but I can give it li small increments of time and I will be able to access it. That's not true for g games like Destiny. And the fact that you need particular equipment, that you need a group, doesn't help. And you know, it kind of goes back to what the original take on this sh episode was going to be. You know, the solace of solitude. I like being alone and get getting to play a game is some alone time for me. And while I like doing social things and Destiny can to be social, I don't have a group to actually do it with. And so... I do it alone. I mean, if I'm doing a strike, well, then automatically I'm grouped with someone. If I'm doing a PvP, I'm automatically grouped with people. But it, it, it's not a necessity. I'm not required to actually interact with people. Whereas... With... With... With, yeah, Again. Yeah, so this isn't making for a very interesting fight because I keep dying again and again and again. It's really quite boring. But while I will slowly work through this, it is something I will. I, I can progress in the game. I can see more of the story. But in Destiny 2, I'm always going to be locked off from things. And that's a shame because there, there are aspects of. Destiny 2, the Bungie games that I really like. And... I, I... You know, compared to other media, I, I think that that's something that's... It's an aspect of games that I don't like. You know, you can read a book. You can watch a movie, a TV show. You can get... You can access everything in it, but games, because they're system-based, because there is an, uh, there are mechanics that l gate things, prevent everyone from getting to enjoy that. I mean, uh, okay, a book, a song, a movie are all linear. And
good. All right, this is gonna be the last time I do this fight because. I am not doing very well. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I'm not talking, and I should be. But, uh, this is a problem with me in games. I just concentrate on the games, and I've got a bunch of high-level dudes. Got a bunch of high-level dudes that I have to deal with, and my horse is getting in the way. And I died because of the damn horse. Great. As you can see, I I am 
not terribly good at combat in this type of game, nor am I good at multitasking and talking as I do these things. It makes for a really boring podcast, but it's a podcast I'm going to put up nonetheless. And... Yeah, I, I have mentioned this before. I do this because it... Well, it gives me a sense of accomplishment. It gives me a sense of creation, however, however minimal that is. I mean, there, there's essays I'd love to write or videos I'd love to make about video games and storytelling, but that's not my thing. There, there's commentary I'd like to make, but I'd rather make something personal. I'd rather make something new, different, because there's plenty of people making great videos, great essays out there on these very things. And I want to do something different. It's just, when I do play video games, I want to see the story. I... I I want to experience more. Oh boy. I have to go back up the road. But, yeah. The... Podcasts are great, and I'd like to do more. But in the little time I have, this is what I get to make. The little time I have to game, this is what I get to do. And I, I want each to be their best they can. I, I'm not always going to be. Sometimes, sometimes I'm just going to sit here in silence, which is not the greatest thing for an audio or visual medium. Hopefully some of the music from the game comes through. You can hear that. That'll keep you entertained, Look maybe. Look like an Elvigrad whore. You surprised? What? They tried to dance with the Witcher. Where'd he come from, anyway? <sighs> now, so it's that's the plan for the future. I, I'm moving this weekend, so I doubt I'm going to get another episode up this week. I mean, this one's late as it is, but again. The idea is, I, I'll play more of The Witcher, I'll play story-based stuff, and talk about how it's going, talk about everything else, parenting. That was unintended. And in the meantime, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, this has been One Game Dad. You can find me on Twitch, YouTube, Patreon, Twitter, and of course at onegamedad.com. It's all there, all the links. If you 
like this what I'm doing, please share with your friends or rate and review on iTunes or YouTube. Other than that, I'll see you next time.